You're listening to Leith tonight. Nick Quack, Jonathan Hartley in the house. We're about to interview Jennifer McGregor and Robert Howitt. How are you doing this evening? Not Fine. bad. Thank you. Over to you, Jonathan. Over to me. Over, Over to you. <laughs> and you are a theatre group, Robert and uh, Jennifer. You are here to talk about a show that you're putting on. Can you tell us something about it? Well, Robert, you wrote it, you tell them. <laughs> yes, it's called Charlie and My 45. It's about uh, an unwilling soldier caught up in the Jacobite uprising of 1745 and 1746. Right. How did you come upon this particular uh, plot, narrative? It's a period of history I've always been interested in, and it's something that I feel is really quite ingrained in the Scottish psyche, integral to Scottish history. And just a topic I wanted to explore. So what happens to this guy? Well, Charlie. And it's Charlie. Yeah, well, of course, I was going to suggest that doesn't sound very... Well, without giving... 1745, <laughs> but it is, of course. <laughs> without giving too much away about the plot, um, Charlie is Bonnie Prince Charlie that he's referring to. He does appear briefly in the piece, um, but it's about a character called Jamie who is um, from a fairly insular background, is caught up in events doesn't care too much for the prince and goes on the campaign and encounters um, some rather interesting characters on his travels and turnaround in fortunes and his own character himself. Right. And you've written several plays before this? I mean, is this... Um, I've written a good few scripts and a couple of plays and this is a a work in progress that began as a rehearsed reading with Jen and Tightly's uh, Theatre... Uh, last year, April two thousand and nine. There you right. go. Yes, yeah, about yeah. a year ago. So it's been progressing and changing and and developing. Yeah. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. And where's it going to be playing? It's on at Augustine United Church on George Fourth Bridge, next to Cafe Locano, which we've also christened Tight Laced HQ. We do rather <laughs> like it there. Locano and George Fourth Bridge. <laughs> That's the one. They do right. good ice cream. Yeah. Is that next to the Central Library or? It is. Sort of diagonally opposite. Right. Just down from the National Lab. That's, that's the one. Yeah. OK, yeah. yes, that's a fringe yes. venue as well. We're in the right? little studio downstairs. Fantastic. Yeah. I've seen yeah. inside the studio blue walls, tight spaces. Am I wrong? Black walls? Black walls, I think. Black but walls. Uh, tight spaces, yes. Black walls, tight spaces. If and you a very funky that, stage space. Intimate. <laughs> Intimate. Yes. Intimate. You sure that wasn't a nightmare of yours, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> So what are you doing in the? What are you doing, Jennifer? Are you the director? Are you the actress? Um, I I direct it. I'm the artistic director of Tight Laced, um, which means it was all my idea and all my fault. Um, <laughs> but I, I am ably aided and abetted by a, a variety of uh, willing victims who've given their time and expertise. Um, Robert, of course, has written for us and acted for us. We've got. Uh, a few other writers who've contributed to the rehearsed readings that we do. Um, various actors who've come on board, lots of different projects. And uh, my my wonderful deputy artistic director, Flavia, who's actually the one who makes the whole thing happen. I just come and talk on the radio, really. Just her <laughs> puppet. You've got all the limelight. That's right. But you're directing, you're actually acting as I well. am directing this show. I don't act. You don't no, act. no, 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 no. Okay. no. It's Robert and Adrienne who act. So. And are there only two actors in the yes, play? Yes, there's just the two of us on stage for this particular piece, myself and Adrienne Zeet. She plays the two female characters that appear in this. Adrienne scene. Zeet, the name seems familiar to me. Yes, she's a French actress based in Edinburgh. She's a French actress based in Edinburgh. Is she a member of the Actors' Kitchen or something? She is indeed, indeed she's yes. The, uh, yes she's I recognised the name. She's the, 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 the mighty cheese behind <laughs> the Liberal Right, right yeah. of course. I'm sure she'll love me calling her that. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow's rehearsal will be so much fun. <laughs> OK, so uh, Tight Laced. Tight Laced is your theatre group. That's correct, And you yes. started when, Jennifer? Um, it started as a, a handle for a group of actors and myself who came together to do a fundraiser for St Columbus Hospice in 2008. Um, the name got revived when I decided I wanted to start doing re- rehearsed readings and it just refuses to die so far, so still going. Okay. Um, and you're, tra- you're trained in acting or...? Um, in, in directing, yes. Directing. Um, I, I used to act and sing, but eventually I realised that that was rather unmerciful towards the public, so I went into <laughs> directing instead. 
Um, I'm actually just about to do a postgrad in directing. I'm going to be doing that down in London. So really, where? At Mount View Academy of Theatre Arts. Nice. So I'll be off to do that, and then probably back to do more with Tight Lace afterwards. Will you be doing anything during the Fringe? Will you be re- resurrecting this? Is this a dry run for the Fringe? This particular production? Not for the Fringe, but we would like to develop the show further. Um, part of part of Tight Lace's little mission is to present works in progress so we we take an awful lot of feedback from our audience along the way as we create a piece starting off with the rehearsed reading where we have a, a Q&A with the audience after the reading they can give us their comments their feedback we take that on board and we develop the piece accordingly um we're doing these two days performance just the 7th and 8th of May we've got four performances over the two days but after each performance the audience will have the opportunity to tell us what they think yes. either verbally or through feedback forms we'll take that on board and um, when we come to develop the piece further into a, a longer, bigger show um, we'll do so in accordance with the feedback that we've been given not not with all of it obviously because I'm assuming some of it will be quite right. contradictory but so we'll take the bits we free like into the audience, absolutely sort of absolutely uh, free ice creams during the intermission if it had an interval we might and, last last to to <laughs> and I don't think Tightly's <laughs> budget stretches quite so far as to throwing free wine guns at the audience <laughs> so not this, quite so that is far this a, is it a comedy is it a tragedy is it no, how no, would you a, describe it it's Neither a tragedy nor a comedy, but it is serious drama. But it's, it's not without drama. humour. The, the, I like to think there is humour in it. It has its moments. Yeah. Yeah. It's yes. a Scottish performance. Yes. Must be quite intense with just two actors in it. It is. Um, Are there many soliloquies standing, looking into the audience, talking to yourself? I uh, wouldn't put it, it as constantly poetically as dialogue. That. It's uh, it, yes, it's dialogue based. It, it doesn't obviously it's dialogue it? based. Uh, sorry, Nick's laughing at me. No, we don't have any huge sound effects and you know explosions <laughs> and anything like that. It's, that you know of yet. It's, it's, we, we, we rely on the two, two but characters. But for the most part, it's you bouncing off one character and she bouncing off you. Yes, like right. Good theatre should be yes. Great. Okay. Um, so. Um, that will be coming on a St Augustine's United Church on George Fourth Bridge, seventh to the eighth of May, two p.m. and six p.m. That's on both days, so there's four. That's correct. Yes. Four different. Um, what's the word? Shows. Okay. Indeed. Four different shows. Very mm-hmm. good. And we actually have a wee special offer for Leith, Leith FM listeners. You do. Yes. Excellent. If you get in touch to book and you quote Leith FM. Uh, you can have a pound off your ticket. The tickets are only a fiver anyway, but uh, they can be four pounds if you quote Leith FM. You heard it here. Bookings at tightlacetheatre.org. That sounds fantastic. So um, good luck with that. Good luck with the production. Thank you. Thank uh, you very much. Hopefully it all all goes very well. Jennifer McGregor and Robert Howitt from... uh, Well, Robert, you're not from the Tight Lace theatre group are you? You're just Robert's an associate, an associate artist. I'm an associate You're an associate artist. artist. Yes. So I am part of the great uh, umbrella of, that is Tight Lace Theatre. Yes. <laughs> they've been here talking about Charlie and my 45. Um, so head on down there. Head on down there. 6pm on Friday and Saturday. That's the one. Is it this Friday and Saturday? This yes. Friday and Saturday. Okay. Can great. Know. Thanks very much guys. Thank you. Thank you. Up next we've got Andy Neat coming in the studio. Enjoy. Tonight is brought to you by Tight Lace Theatre, the new writing company presenting Charlie and My 45 on the 7th and 8th of May. For more information and to book, go to www.tightlacetheatre.org.